Hey everybody, Rich with our little homestead. Today we've got a ton of stuff going on in the garden. We harvested uh, our third picking of beets, cleaned the row out. We harvested some Yukon gold potatoes, some cauliflower, and my wife's making cottage cheese. But today, this video is all about beetroot powder. So we're gonna show you what we're doing to make our beetroot powder. We've already picked the beets. We've already, okay. So anyways, we've already picked the beets. We've scrubbed them down. Some of them were kind of smaller, but like I said, this is our third picking, so the real good beets have already been harvested. After I scrubbed them, cut the tops off, fed the leaves to the cows, they really enjoyed them. And then obviously we cut the, the big root part off as well. So they've been washed, they've been trimmed. We were gonna peel them all, but instead I think what we're gonna do we're just going to clean the blemishes off of the, the skins themselves because we're just turning this into a powder. So if you can see here, we kind of got like this hard skin here. And what we've done down here, we just kind of clean that up a little bit. And I don't know if you know the benefits of beetroot powder, but that's, they're awesome. So that's what we want to do with our beets. These are extra beets. We've already canned beets. So my wife's going to be peeling. And I'm going to be using the death slicer and praying that I don't chop off the end of my finger. Okay? So that's that. Try not to cut myself. Try not to cut yourself. Safety first. Yes, ma'am. Let's see our beautiful beets. Are ready? Look at that. Woo! Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that one looked like it had a smiley face on it. Did you see it? I miss it. I mean, they're so nice. Little bullseyes everywhere. But let me see how thin the slice is. Like a potato chip. <clears throat> like a potato chip. And then, after we get done with this, we're going to load them on some trays, throw them in the freezer, let them freeze for a few hours. And then, once our nerd clusters are done in the, <laughs> in the freeze dryer, the beets are going in. Beets, 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 beets. So, all of the beets are sliced, and they are ready to go in the freezer. Okay, so we took them out of the freezer, threw them in the freeze dryer, fast forward 28 hours, and this is what we got. These beautiful, beautiful beet chips. But we need to process them quickly. So I gotta cut this really kinda short. What we're gonna do, we're gonna throw them right into a blender, a lot of them. Maybe we'll save a few back just for chips. And uh, we're gonna turn them into beetroot powder, man. So we tried these as chips and they are so good. They're sweet. They're sweet. They almost taste like cross between a sweet carrot and a potato chip. They are fantastic. They just need some salt. Next crop, we're making chips. <laughs> That is the lid of and the... And so our beetroot powder is finally complete. It only took about, I don't know, day and a half to get us from harvest to superfood, which it's a superfood anyways. I also want to show off some of our other powders. This is made from hot pepper uh, combinations, jalapenos, Hungarian hot wax, um, couple others but I don't quite remember over here we got radish powder it gets a little clumpy because it's so fine <clears throat> then we have organic lettuce and lastly organic kale so these are all superfoods that are we might otherwise just be throwing out in excess that we can now add to the smoothies to food 
we add the kale to our harvested potatoes when we fry them up in some butter. <laughs> so anyways, so, hey, this is awesome. This is a great way and another reason why Harvest Right is such an awesome product for home use. Because how else would we be able to have this available to us? We could can, but the canning process takes a lot of, a lot of really, really good stuff inside the vegetable and destroys it not through any fault of its own, just the high heat. So anyways, that's everything I got for today. Till next time, be good to one another and keep eating your beets.